Right now we're farming power out of the sky. I'm really excited about Local 11 taking a huge initiative on solar. If you go to our uh, electric training institute down in Commerce for Local 11, this is one of the nation's largest and strongest training facilities for electrical contractors and uh, electrical workers. And we're gonna be demonstrating and showing techniques on how to be doing solar for all of our trainees. Go. A few other Westfields have it. Mm -hmm. They have some solar. You're a retail company and you're making two, three percent margin. So for every dollar you make, you're making two cents. But when you save a hundred thousand in energy, it's a hundred thousand the bottom line. The biggest thing is we're showing that through NECA and the IBW and um, our efforts together that we have the workforce to, uh, that know how to install and maintain these systems. And we have the NECA contractors, again, that know how to install and engineer these systems. What kind of power storage could you get in a, in a unit like this? What is that? What kind of battery storage? We, you know, how we many? could have 10, 15 megawatts. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I recognize it from the brochure. That's impressive. Look so, at those robust switches. That's, uh, that can handle a lot of current, clearly, there. The first industrial revolution was mechanical. Right. Assembly line is the next revolution is energy. It's an energy revolution. And I agree. Right. Well, you look around, everything is electrical. Everything we use yeah, in sure. our daily lives, everything and is electronic. Oh, yeah. yeah. So one of the things we're most proud of is the work at the high road between contractors. So contractors that do the work, paying good family sustainable wages, benefits, apprenticeship program, training. Uh, good union benefits like a pension. Solar is changing. It's a new field. They've ins changed installation techniques. They've in changed materials that they use. Panels too have been changing. The, it's the efficiency of the panel. It keeps going rising. A lot of us are new to the solar thing, um, and it's it's been really actually really good for us because not only is it giving us work but it's presenting a lot of good energy clean energy I mean you got the Sun out there you know we might as well use it for uh, power as well it's nice um, working out in these fields here providing a lot of green energy that I'm sure would be used throughout the valley here businesses homes um, they're able to provide a lot of work for the people in the community We're, we're probably operating at close to 50 people right now. Um, and the, the larger scale the projects, the more um, manpower is needed and creates a lot more jobs in the area. The quality and craftsmanship that the IBW, uh, specifically Local 11, produces, is it, it supersedes everybody. We work safer, harder, faster, and the job's done right the first time. Since these green energies have come along, which is we've done geothermal, wind, and solar, uh, it has just picked up immensely for our membership. And we've taken people off the street, uh, at-risk youths. We've taken veterans in. We've created uh, good paying jobs uh, for people in the community. Charlotte's have families to take care of. So, I mean, that's very important that we can uh, come to work and uh, make money and be able to take care of our families. That's very important. We've got a 550 megawatt right now that has employed well over 800 members. Set a higher bar, set a higher standard, let them know that they should come to us to get their work done. So I felt like it was my responsibility as a school board member to pursue greening projects and also pursue this partnership with IBEW because these schools are the epicenter of our communities. And if we can make them more energy efficient, that's tax savings for our constituents, for all the taxpayers. So here we are at Los Altos High School in one of our new science labs. And one of the greatest innovations in this classroom, you can see right here, are these solar tubes, which allow natural light to come in. And right now, we're actually opening up the vents to allow more light to come in. It lights up the entire room with natural light, which is easier on the eyes and is completely free. And one of the biggest cost centers of our schools is our energy usage. So anything that we can do to bring down the cost of energy, our usage of energy, that extra money can go towards books, towards supplies, 
and other facilities. I feel like it is my responsibility to pursue initiatives like these, which green our schools, which help employ uh, local apprentices and workers, and which really beautify our campus and provide learning opportunities for our students. And I would urge any school board member to take a look at this. This kind of craftsmanship is an example of what they can do. Building there, and then you have bungalows that are all around. We want to make sure that we're able to reduce uh, the overhead and energy costs that have a, a, a significant budget impact on LA Unified School District. So as you look out here and you see the solar panels, these solar panels have been built uh, over dozens of high school and middle school uh, shaded parking areas. They provide shade for the vehicles and they provide the solar panels that actually power the school. Uh, these have been built in a partnership between LA Unified School District and IBW Local 11. We are getting a level of quality and a level of service that is unmatched anywhere else. There is a clear pipeline from our schools through the technical training programs into apprentice programs so the kids who are in the classrooms today become the skilled laborers of tomorrow. Did you do this side already? That's nah. Done, See how inside they got these, these weird plastic things? Oh, just checking out and making sure everything that we hit all of our points. We got to do our we're doing our grounding right now before we get our panels on here. So just making sure we get all the last odds and ends. Make sure the punch list is minimized so we can just come back, slap panels, tie in. We're done. So right now we're just trying to make sure that what our work is looking as clean as it possibly can. 60 amps, and uh, at least four hours a day. We're talking about it's like over a megawatt and a half a month that this house is going to be, this house's system is going to be producing. This is a power plant. I've been wanting to come to the IBW and NECA Electrical Training Institute for some time because it's amazing the kind of work you're doing here to train young people, people of all ages through the apprentice program and get them out here learning how to do a job properly. Everything that I own these days is electrical, you know, everything I own has electricity as part of it. And we need to make sure that the kind of electricity we get is safe and we have to use it efficiently and wisely. And that's the kind of thing that you learn here at the Electrical Training Institute. I, I'm very, very impressed. We have to work with the, the, our wonderful labor unions, our, the labor movement, to make sure that when you green things up, that jobs are considered seriously in that equation and good jobs well-paying jobs, jobs with a pension, jobs that have some sort of longevity. Green has uh, certainly uh, merged with blue and that's the way it should be. We need to make sure that the workers are never left out in the cold as you try to make things more environmentally sound.